Hey, it's Sunny here and welcome back to Sunny DIY where you can find all your gifting needs for your loved ones. This week, I'm making another gift idea that will be perfect for the upcoming Valentine's Day. It is a pop-up box that comes with a little key that is super cute. I hope you guys will make it yourself and remember to hit that bell icon down below to get notifications when I post my new videos. And let's get to the DIY! To start off, I'm going to be making the template for the little square box. It's quite easy. You basically want four squares vertically and then three squares horizontally. If it helps, you can definitely check out the web to get a good idea of how to build a cube. And that's basically what it should look like. And then just on the two flaps, I'm going to add a little edge because it will help with gluing the whole thing together. Otherwise, they are just pieces. Once that's done, go ahead and cut the whole thing out. And what I'm doing here is just scoring the lines that we have drawn and scoring you probably heard me talk about this before is just using the back of your scissors to run through where the line is and it just really helps with the folding process and makes the line super clean I really advise you guys to use it and um, just fold up all the sides and you see a basic box is taking shape and just to make everything look nice, I'm going to erase the lines that I have drawn since I already folded all the edges that I needed. Don't forget to fold up the little flaps that you have drew before as well because I'm going to be applying a lot of glue to it and you just want to glue it to the edge that's next to it and you want something to hold it together while it dries and glues together. I'm just using a little bobby pin as a little tool and then I eventually end up using a clip that's much stronger. To decorate it, I'm using this super beautiful lace washi tape that I got from Japan. It's still brand new because it's so beautiful. I don't want to waste it on anything, but I think it's perfect for this DIY. But if you don't have that, you can definitely decorate it however you want, place sticker on it or draw on it. Uh, it's really up to you. Definitely take the opportunity to personalize it to the way that you want. And the final thing we need to do is just make a little slit on the edge of the lid and a tiny hole as well. Moving on to designing what will actually pop out of the box. Since it's Valentine's Day, I made my design to say I love you or like with the little heart. You just want to make sure that the design is not bigger than the box itself, otherwise it will overflow. And just decorate it and color it in before cutting out the whole design. Of course, we need to make the spring that makes the design pop out. Cut out two strips and you just want to fold one sheet over the other repeatedly. Soon enough, you will see that a little bouncy string will form. Just cut off any excess and glue that to the design itself. I find that it really helps if you gather the whole thing for it to glue, otherwise it's just very floppy. Okay, now let's make the little key. I folded a sheet of white cardboard in half and drew a little heart before cutting the heart out. And this way you are able to draw the heart on the front and back and they're the same size. Now grab a little toothpick or skewer in my case. Toothpick is really better because it's smaller. A skewer is a little thick. And you just want to apply generous amount of glue before gluing it to the end of the toothpick. You will see how it works later. Now we want to assemble everything together and just glue the pop-up to the bottom of the box. It really helps if you pull on the spring a little bit to loosen it up before giving it to someone so it pops up really nicely. And make sure to hide it in the box before the key through the little hole then into the slit and that will help secure the lid itself. And that's it. How it works is you pull the little heart key 
and your design will pop out magically and it's, I think it's super cute. You can make it any size that you want. I just had a lot of fun pulling on the key and having the design pop out. Thanks for watching. I hope you will make it yourself. If you like this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you all next week. Bye.